In this video we're going to solve proportions by cross multiplying. So here's page one. And we then we have page two and page three. Okay, so let's start with page one. And if we might do you know do you know that four over six is equal to two over three? We know that, right? Four over six, four six is the same as two thirds, right? If you put this in lowest terms, two and four goes twice, two and six goes three times, right? So this is a fact. Now, there's something funny about when you write a fraction equal to a fraction. Okay, if you have a fraction equal to another fraction, that is called a proportion. Proportion. Okay, we have a fraction equal to a fraction, it's a proportion. Whenever you have a proportion, you can do cross multiplying. You can cross multiply. What does that mean? It means you make a cross like that. Do that. Make a cross. Okay? Or an X. And what you do is you take 4 and multiply it by 3. Let me just do that. Okay. And you say that that is equal to 6 multiplied by 2. Now check that. Is that true? Is that a true statement? 4 times 3 is 12. 6 times 2 is 12. Yes. Okay. So what on this page I would just like you to cross multiply each one of these and check to see if all of these are in fact proportions. If, if, all, if all the fractions are equal. We know these fractions are equal. If fractions are equal <coughs> and you cross multiply, you will get one number equal to another number. What's the point of doing that? The point of doing that is so we can then solve these equations. Okay? So that's page two. We're going to solve some equations. Okay? All right? So um, let's cross multiply to show that this, uh, to, to, to on this one, and, and uh, if both sides are the same, you've done the right thing. So you've got to go 3 times 4 equals 12 times 1. So 3 times 4 equals 12 times 1. Are both sides the same? 12 equals 12. Yep. So that's all you have to do on this page. Just make sure the cross multiply and, and multiply both sides and they need to be the same number. Now, 3 quarters or sorry, 3 twelfths is equal to 1 quarter, isn't it? Because if you if you put this in lowest terms, you see you would go 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 12 goes 4 times, that gives you 1 over 4, right? Okay, so when you have a fraction equal to another fraction, you can cross multiply. This number times this number will always equal this number times this number. And once again, the reason we're doing that is so we'll use that fact to help us solve these equations on page 2 and 3, okay? So I'm just going to run over these with you. So we've got to multiply this times this, and then this times this. We've got to cross multiply. So what we get is 1 over 6 multiplied by 15 is equal to 1 over 4 multiplied by 10, right? Now what do we do? You're multiplying fractions. Do you remember how to multiply fractions? Okay, what you've got to do is put the improper fractions into, into, or sorry, put the mixed numbers into improper fractions, or put the whole numbers into pro improper fractions. So 15 can be written 15 over 1. And 10 can be written as 10 over 1, right? So you've got 1 over 6 times 15 over 1. You can cross cancel, of course. 3 into 6 goes twice. 3 into 15 goes 5 times. So this guy becomes 1 times 5, 5 over 2 times 1, 2, 5 over 2. Okay, let's see what this one becomes. Can you cross, can you, uh, can you uh, simplify this multiply multiplication? 10 to the top, 4 in the bottom. 2 into 4 goes twice, 2 into 10 goes 5 times. 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, we get 5 over 2 here as well. Okay, so we did that one correctly. Both sides are the same. See if you can cross multiply in this one. What do you get? 
So you're going to go 0 0.2 times that, and then 2 times that, right? 0 0.2 uh, times 10. Remember, the decimal point goes down here. The multiplication dot goes up here, m halfway. Okay. So the decimal point is at the bottom, and the the uh, multiplication dot is halfway, and that's equal to two times one. Two times one. Okay. So what is 0 0.2 times 10? And if I was smarter, I would have put this in parentheses, wouldn't I? So I wouldn't have to deal with the different points. Anyway, just something to watch out for. One of the reasons that we use parentheses for multiplying sometimes is so we don't have to deal with uh, product uh, dots or multiplication dots and decimal points at the same time. Anyway, okay, so 0 0.2 times 10 is if you multiply a decimal times 10, doesn't the decimal point go over here like that? And so wouldn't this become 2? And on the right hand side we have 2 times 1, which is also 2, right? So press pause and do this guy. Cross multiply and show that both sides are the same. Please press pause and do it. Do your best and if you make a mistake that's fine because then the video will show you how to do it. Okay. So please press pause and try it. I'm going to do it in three seconds. I'm going to do it uh, quickly enough. So three, two, one. Okay here we go. This times this should equal this times this. Two over three multiplied by five should equal. Oh I'm wrong am I? 5 over 4, sorry. 2 over 3 times 5 over 4 should equal this times this. 1 over 6 times 5. Okay. Turn the 5 into a fraction. 5 over 1. Okay. Now, on this guy over here, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes twice. And on the top now, I have 1 times 5 is 5 over. 3 times 2 is 6. On this guy, I can't cross cancel anything. 1 times 5 is 5, 6 times 1 is 6, and so both sides are the same and we did the right thing. Okay? So now we're going to use our our um, cross multiplication knowledge to do these examples on page 2. The first question is what number over 6 is equal to 2 over 3? So this is an equation. And, and what we've got to do is solve for x. In other words, find out the value of x that makes the equation true. Um, so for example, uh, what I'm trying to say is the answer is definitely not 100, right? So that, that won't work. 100 over 6 equals 2 over 3. That's not going to work. So x is not 100. But what is x? There's only one number that's going to work for x. What is it? Do you know? Do you think it's maybe... Well, we just did this one, didn't we? Do you think it might be 4? Because 4 over 6 equals 2 over 3. See that? So it is 4, right? But imagine you didn't know that. You could use this cross multiplication method to find out what x is. Because watch this. You're going x times 3 equals 6 times 2. Okay? Now, usually in algebra, when we have x times 3, you know, we kind of think of it as if you had something like banana times three. Um, what did you eat for lunch? I ate a banana times three. You wouldn't say that. You say I ate three bananas, right? Or how about apple times two? What did you eat for breakfast? I ate an apple times two. You don't say that. You say I ate two apples. And similarly, instead of x times three, we would write three times x or simply 3x. Okay, So that's the usual way of writing it and we might as well just do it, get into the habit of it because uh, it's going to be all over your algebra classes anyway. right? So instead of x times 3 we can just write that 3x equals and then 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, And now we have this equation where we have 3 multiplied by x you know, and we need to undo multiplying to get the answer and I think we just covered how to do that, right? So to undo multiplying by 3, I need to divide by 3. And if I divide this side by 3, what do we do to this side? Divide that by 3. Yep. So 3x over 3, the 3's cross cancel. And I get x is equal to, and 12 over 3 is 4. Okay. And that is the answer, because 4 over 6 is definitely equal to 2 over 3. So x has to be 4, right? x has to be 4. Does that make sense? Right? 
So um, three twelve equals what over four? Can you write? Can you just guess the answer? Go ahead and guess the answer before you even start doing it. X equals what? Have you got it? Three over twelve is equal to one over four, isn't it? Three twelfths equals one quarter. Because if I put the three twelfths as lowest terms, I get one over four. So x has to be equal to one. But we're going to solve this equation and show that um, x will become one when you do it. So I'm just basically proving that cross multiplying works, and we're also practicing right now. So cross multiply means write a cross like that, okay? And that tells you that three times four must equal 12 times x. Okay? And just for fun, we'll multiply this out and get 12 equals, and we'll just write that as 12x. Just for practice. Because we usually don't put the multiplication between the, uh, the numbers. So if, if 12 is just written beside x, it means 12 multiplied by x. Okay? So how do we get x by itself? Well, x is being multiplied by 12, so we need to divide by 12, yep, and we also need to divide this side by 12, okay? If I divide that by 12, 12 and 12 goes once here and here, and I get 1x over 1, which is just x, okay? So I get x on the right, and 12 divided by 12 is 1. So I have 1 equals x, which can also be written as x equals 1, right? Same thing, isn't it? 1 equals x, x equals 1. You can do that. Change it around, right? Okay, so please press pause now and use your skills to figure out the answer for this. Okay, we're going to cross multiply and then solve this equation for x, right? So I'm going to do it now in about 3 seconds, so please press pause and try it. Okay, here we go. 3, 2, 1, 3 times 3 equals 7 times x so 3 times 3 is 9 and 7 times x, I'll just write that 7x for fun and I've got to undo multiplying by 7 so I need to divide by 7 on both sides and so I get 9 over 7 equals and these guys cross cancel equals x Okay, so x is 9 over 7 now what if we had x over 3 equals 5, what would we do then? Well, let's see. <coughs> um, we could write this whole number as an... Any idea? You come up with the answer. What, sh what should we do first? Write this guy as 5 over 1. If I turn the 5 into a fraction, now I can cross multiply and get the answer. Okay. So cross multiply alright and we get x times 1 equals 3 times 5 okay and uh, x times 1 is just x 3 times 5 is 15 isn't it? x times 1 is x did we even see that? let's go over that really quickly x times 1 is the same as 1x um, y or x because if you had banana and you multiplied it by 1 I had a banana times 1 for dinner means I had 1 times a banana or you just had 1 banana or you just had a banana That they all mean the same thing don't they banana times 1 1 times banana 1 banana or just banana I had a banana right how about, how about uh, apple times 1 list all the ways you could write that apple times 1 I had an apple times one with my breakfast means I had an apple times one or I had one times an apple right or I had one apple I had one apple for breakfast or I had an apple just apple hey see that or you could say I want a yo-yo times one for Christmas or how else could you write that I want one times a yo-yo right or I want one yo-yo for Christmas, or I just want a yo-yo for Christmas. So if you just have Y on its own, it means one Y, or just Y, right? We saw that, didn't we? Anyway, so, okay, sorry. 4 over X equals 3. Please press pause and solve this one by yourself. 
Okay, I'm going to do it now. You've got to write the 3 is 3 over 1. Cross multiply. You'll get x times 3 equals 4 times 1, or the other way around, doesn't matter. But in any case, 3x equals 4, and you've got, you've got x is being multiplied by 3, so you need to divide by 3 on both sides. The 3's cross cancel, and you get 1x over 1, or x is equal to 4 over 3. And you can also write that as a mixed number if you like. 3 into 4 goes once, remainder 1. So 1 and 1 third, okay? Now, what if we had decimals? Can you solve this one? By all means, see if you can do it faster than me. I'm going to go through it slowly. Well, I've got to cross multiply first. Okay, so write the uh, write the question down and cross multiply. See what you get. So we could we we might have uh, 0 0.12 times 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.4 times n. Does that make sense? this times this equals this times this. Right? Now I guess the first thing we should probably do is multiply these guys out. So we'll do that. When you multiply it doesn't matter where the decimal points are. They don't have to be underneath each other. Right? 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. And 0 times everything is 0 and you can put those down there if you want you don't have to now we count the number of decimal places 1 2 3 see that 1 2 3 decimal places in the problem and so the decimal point starts from here and it goes 1 2 does it stop there no it goes another one 3 right up to here and then you put in a 0 and so you have 0 0.036 or you could say 0 0.036 right 0 0.036 right so anyway I got 0 0.036 is equal to 0 0.4 times n 0 0.4 n you can write it like that if you like all right okay and now I have to solve for n so I need to divide by what divide by it's been multiplied by 0 0.4, so we need to divide by 0 0.4. See that? And I need to divide this side by 0 0.4 as well. Now, what happens to the 0 0.4s over here? Would you believe me if I told you that they cross cancel just like any other number? Yeah, they just cross cancel. Just like when we divided by 3, the 3's cross cancel. Divide by 0 0.4, so 0 0.4 is cross cancel. I get 1 times n over 1, which is just n, right? And then I need to do this division, so let me do that then. So I'm going to go 0 0.4 into 0 0.036. Okay. And oh, I've got a decimal in the divisor. I need to move that to the right. And I need to move this guy to the right as well. So now I get 4. Is the points over here. So 4 into. And the decimal point is here. So that's a point 0.36 or 0 0.36, right? <coughs> now what? 4 into 0 goes 0 times. Put up the decimal point. 4 into 3 goes 0 times, remainder 3, you could say. 4 into 36 goes 9 times. Or you might just say 4 into 36 is 9 and then put the 0 on the point of the 0. But in any case, you should get 0 0.09, right? So, if you could please press pause and figure this one out all by yourself, okay? And so you may might make a mistake or two, but that's okay because then the video will show you where you went wrong and you'll learn something, all right? So press pause and try it yourself, then I'll do it. Okay, so I'm going to do it now in about three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm doing it now. So I need to cross multiply. Did you get that? 0 0.3 times 0 0.8 should equal n times 2.4. Okay? 
and uh, let's see I need to multiply these guys together 0 0.3 uh, oh let me just do, do down here 0 0.3 0 0.8 8 times 3 is 24 then 4 carried to 2, 8 times 0 is 0, put the 2 down 0 times everything is 0, don't need those we have 1, 2 decimal places in the problem so there's going to be 1, 2 in the answer, so the point goes here and so that makes 0 0.24 0 0.24, right? Oops. so we got 0, 2.4 0 0.24 equals n times 2.4, right? Or you could write that 2.4 times n, it doesn't matter. But the point is, n is being multiplied by 2.4, so I need to divide by 2.4 to get it by itself, right? And if I do that, these guys cross cancel, I get 1 times n over 1, which is n, and of course I need to divide this side also by 2.4, okay? So now I need to calculate this division guy here. That is 2.4 into 0 0.24. And I need to move the decimal point over one space, don't I? Here and here. So that becomes 24 into uh, 2.4. All right. So 24 into 2 does, won't go. 24 into 24 goes one time. Now 1 times 24 is 24, and you subtract the remainder 0, you know that. Now the decimal point must go up here in the answer, and of course now I need to put in a 0, right? So 0 0.1 is what n is. Okay? Now, this one, let me walk through this one with you. Write it down, and we'll go through it together. So we need to cross multiply. Okay? Now we get 4, 2, 9 times 130 equals uh, y times 858 hmm interesting and um, I could multiply and then divide but let me just give you a little tip and this might work nicely for other questions if you want to do it as well if at this point I go ahead and divide by the 858 I now have this big fraction to simplify and then I'll get my answer okay so let's try it I think this is an even number and so is this so I'm gonna try 2 into all into these now 2 into 13 goes 6 times remainder 1 2 into 10 goes 5 times um, 2 into 8 goes 4 times 2 into 5 goes twice remainder 1 and 2 into 18 goes 9 times and look what happened. Do you know what to do now? Can you see what to do? 1 into 429 goes once, 1 to 429 goes once. So we were kind of lucky, it all worked out for us. 1 times 65 is 65, and on the bottom I just have 1 equals. And look, if I cross cancel here, that goes into that, of course, right? y times 1 over 1 is what I have as usual so anyway this is just 61 isn't it and this is just y right? okay